This is an awesome find here. I'm talking about 14K right there. That is awesome. Well, I'm back over here in another state where I found that gold ring, uh, that big gold episode. And uh, when I was out here the last time, I never really could get in the shallow waters just to test it and see what was up in there because there were so many people up here. And so I decided to come back today and hit the shallow area. And uh, so I'm just kind of working myself from about waist deep up to the shallow. And then I'm going to work deep in. Uh, I found a few things already. Let me show you what I've got so far. I got a uh, old crusty up earring, but I got something that I got a bunch of last year, but this is the first one that I've gotten this year. And, uh, and so I'm kind of excited about that. And it is this. I got my first cross. Last year I dug so many of these, and this is the first one that I got this year. So I'm really excited about that. Ringing up is a 55. It's not going to be gold. It's just going to be fake. But anyway, I got a crusty ring. I got this. Got a handful of change. I've been here about 10 minutes. So let's jump back in. Let's see what we can get. Well, they got an 85, 86, and it's another cross. Preacher Dicker Dung dug a second cross today. Looks like a part of a necklace broke off up here. You flip it over and look right down here on the bottom. I think it says 925. So we have a silver cross here. That's a good find. All right, been out here about 30 minutes. Let's keep on going. getting a 50 a solid 50 and it's a little looks like a little copper necklace it's something all right we'll keep on going first ring for the day it was ringing up as an 83 very high tone it wasn't sounding like a dime had a very higher pitch than a dime and it took me a minute to get it up I'm out about five foot of water probably fake stones but it's still a sterling silver ring hey I'll take it I like that all right let's give let's keep on going Well, I literally just got in the water. I've moved from right there to right here, and I got my first ring. It's ring up is a 71, so I think it's just gonna be a junker ring. Uh, not precious metal, I should say. Shouldn't say junk. It should, it's probably precious to somebody. I've dug one like this before, and it turned out to just to be a, a non-precious metal ring. Uh, I'll clean it up later on, and uh, it's got a gold tinge to it, but I think it's an Avon ring is what it is. Anyway, well that's the first one within three minutes. Well, let's keep on going. Well, I decided to take off early and come out to the lake today. Uh, this video is going to be kind of a compilation of about three or four different lakes that I went to and we even broke off, me and Army Man, went back over to Relic Roundup where we shot so many videos, but we keep finding stuff at that old rodeo ground. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit, but uh, I'm out here at this lake that's kind of a real popular lake and uh, so 
just going real slow, digging in the shallows, digging all the iffy signals and see what I can come up with. And so uh, let's jump in the water. Let's see what we can find today. Well, I got a 46 on my AT Pro and looks like it's a uh, probably stainless steel being written bringing up at 46 but it looks like it's got a silver chain on it or something but anyway another cross with a preacher digger that's number three in the last week so that's doing good let's keep on going Well, this was ringing up it's a 45 but it's not stainless it's stamped 925 chains usually ring up different than the silver coin does that's pretty nice so i got that uh, cross got this chain been out here about 30 minutes hunting the shallow water so let's keep on going see what else we can get This is an awesome find here. This is a gold bracelet. It's ringing up as a 48 to a 51. But if you take this clasp, I don't know if you can see it on this GoPro camera, turn it this way. That says 14K. Wow. 14K gold bracelet. Check that out. Look how big it is. Wow, that's nice. Some big G there, buddy. I like that. I'll just going real slow, digging all the signals. And uh, 14K gold bracelet. Wow, man, that is awesome find right there. That is unbelievable. All right, let's keep going. Got a cross, I got a chain, silver chain, and a gold bracelet. Been here about 35, about 45 minutes. baby that's what i'm talking about 14k right there that is awesome Well, this is ringing up like in the 30s. And it looks like it's going to be another gold chain. A lady's chain. Real th thin rope chain. All right. Today's turning out to be a, a good day so far. All right. Let's keep going. got me another cross how about that this is my third cross on this uh, video i think one two yeah third one i think uh this is hadn't gotten one all year but uh today or this video i've gotten three this is a crucifix here rang up like a 50 51 all right let's keep on going that's a nice find i like that Well, I got an arrowhead necklace. It's ringing up as a 54. It's got some writing right here on the back or some type of design. I'll look at that when I get let, let, uh, get closer in. Looks like it has a wishbone right here and on something. It's weird. All right, we'll look at that. We'll look that up and see what that is. 
once we get to the wrap up. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm back on the road today. It's Friday, my day off. I've already hit about three different lakes, so this video is going to kind of be bits and pieces of several different places. I'm going to see my daughter. She lives up here about uh, two and a half hours away from me. I'm going to spend the night with her, but there's a couple of lakes in her area. Uh, one that I've never hunted before, so I'm going to try it out. And so hopefully we're going to find some more ring. We had a good day yesterday and looking forward to another good day today. So hopefully we're going to get on some good stuff and uh, we can put this in the video and make a great video for you. So I will see you when I get into the lake. I'm here back out the lake. I've found uh, three earrings so far, a bunch of pull tabs. Been here about, uh, oh, about 30 minutes and got my first good signal. And I'm in very shallow water. I've already reached down there and felt what it is, but I wanted to show you guys. It's ringing up as a 40, 45. I'm thinking a stainless steel ring. It's my first ring here. And so I'm just about less than waist deep. So I'm gonna reach down there and get it and uh, see if I can find it again. Yeah, here we go. And there we are, a little camouflage stainless steel ring I'll take it all right keeps my treasure uh, street going had a good day yesterday and hopefully that's gonna hey this is not stainless steel sorry about that this says this is a titanium hey I'll take that I like that better than stainless steel but that's a titanium ring that's ringing up a little lower than uh, normal usually titanium is around 50 51 this is ringing up in the mid 40s. All right, let's keep going. All right, I got a ring in the scoop. I got Harley. It's a stainless steel ring, ringing up as 45, 46. All right, this ring number two. Been here uh, just about an hour. All right, we'll keep going. Well, I got me a uh, ringing up as an 82, 83. There's no marking on the inside. Rings up like silver, but it could be aluminum. But I don't know. Could be aluminum, but. Uh, Feels kind of like silver, sounds like silver. I have to test it when I get back. All right, ring number three. And I have about iron 15 minutes, so let's keep on going. Well, I got another little ring here. It's ringing up like a 30. Uh, it's not connected, so it's going to be real staticky, but it is a ring, but it's a little small ring. It's been in the lake a while. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's just chrome-plated junk ring. Anyway, it was somebody's ring at one time. They probably thought it was precious, but I found it, and I'm uh, going to put it in my collection. All right, we'll keep on going. That's the fourth ring here. I've been out here for about I got my fifth ring out here. It's got some writing on the inside. It says, when I'm with my pet, I am complete. Uh, it's going to be a non-precious ring. It's ringing up as an 81, but hey, I'll still take it. All right, making my last sweep through here. I'm here for about two hours and 15 minutes and got five rings. So uh, we're going to hunt for about 30 more minutes, and then we're going to call it a day. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Oh, it's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm uh, ready to go home, or at least go to my daughter's. I'm going to spend the night with her tonight and hit another lake on the way home tomorrow. 
So we'll call it a day today. Until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Well, I made it back from the lakes again on another good successful hunt. Started out not so good on the first two lakes and then I went a week later, we went to two other lakes. And these last two lakes have really paid off really good. And I uh, got a good haul here. Let me show you what I got. Let me turn you around. All right, this is what I've got. As I always do, I start out with my trash. I got all my aluminum foil and stuff like that. Fishing sinkers, washers, some miscellaneous junk, some aluminum, a lighter, some uh, fingernail clippers, bobby pins, all the different pull tabs, all the different bottle caps, and all the different uh, beer tops here. So quite a bit of trash. Not a whole lot, but quite a bit. I did get a pair of sunglasses. I got one 50 cent piece. And then I got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and twenty-five cents in quarters. I got a nickel. I got ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen 15, 17 pennies. And then I got ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen dimes. So I got quite a bit of change. Boy, I'm hoping every time I'm digging a, a quarter or a dime, it's going to be a silver ring. But yeah, didn't work out that way. I got one earring. Look how big this earring is. This thing is huge. Look at it. Man, that thing is so big. Got one earring. It's just just costume. I got four different um, little studs. I got four more different little earrings, smaller loops. And then I broke off of one lake and called Army Man up, and we went over to the Relic Roundup, and we decided to, to hunt. They had dissed up the, uh, the, the rodeo arena again, so we decided to go over there and hunt, and it had just rained, and after rain, you, you always catch all the marbles. So I got one bead and uh, five different marbles. I got some type of little piece of brass and got some um, a Columbia guaranteed or guaranteed or something like that. Warranted. Columbia warranted button. I've got a, a Tower Company Boston button. A couple of other little buttons. A couple little buckles. Did get a good... This thing was completely croated up. I don't know if they even got it on film or not. I'm not sure now. But it's a good for 10 cents. It's a drink token. But it's very croated up. I mean, you should have seen that. I put it in that oxalic acid and uh, did pretty good cleaning it up. But it was pretty much already toast. So, anyway, got a good little token out of there. It's from probably 1930s or maybe a little sooner. I got three wheat pennies all from uh, one from the 40s and I think two from the uh, uh, 30s or maybe from the 20s. Here's all the good keepers. I found a little uh, gold chain. It's not real gold. Uh, looks looks good, but it's not real gold. Got this little chain here with a little stone in it and a little rose flower. I don't know. I did dig this one up. That is 925. It's a good silver chain. The clasp are still there. It just needs to be reconnected. I got this little Indian head. And at first, I thought it was just going to be junk. And then I got my loop out, and it actually says... 925 so that is silver i'm going to polish that up maybe get a before and after then finally i've all this year water season i finally got my crosses i dug this cross right here it's just non-precious metal this is a stainless steel cross this is very little very thin and but i'm glad i got it i dug this one on that first lake i went to and then i dug this nice big crucifix here so i got four crosses on this trip and uh, then here are my rings. I got this little junk ring. Um, been in the lake quite a while. This is a gold colored Avon ring. It's really just uh, costume jewelry. Uh, this one here is going to be a stainless steel ring. It's got the name Harley on it. And, uh, and then here's a ring right here. It's just going to be a, a junker as well. It's a stainless steel ring. I don't even think it's stainless steel. It rang up like an 80. So it's just some type of other material, but it's not precious material. Uh, here's the better rings. This is not, I thought this was silver, uh, silver but it's actually just going to be aluminum. I believe it's going to be aluminum. There's no marking on it, but it rings up. I'm going to test it later on. I did get this one. thought it was stainless steel, but it's uh, actually, it's a, uh, I don't know if you can read that in there. You flip it over this way. You can see it's actually a titanium ring pretty nice looking ring and then I did get one silver at the first lake I went to it's been in the lake a while you can tell by how tarnished it is but I did get a silver ring those are probably not real diamonds I haven't tested them yet but 
but I will test them. It looks kind of a vintage type of ring, but it's definitely sterling. And then my best two finds, of course, what the video's named after, got big G in the scoop, is this big uh, gold bracelet. Wow, when I dug that up, it was a 5051, and that was something else, man. That is about eight inches. Uh, it uh, rings up as 41.5 grams of gold. You can tell it is 14K. So that is gonna be my greatest find greatest monetary fine if this thing turns out which I think it is it's pretty heavy being all gold this is about eleven hundred dollars in spot value just in gold so that's the most monetary value that I have but here to me is one of the greatest finds and it's this 1910 Pendleton Roundup Rodeo uh, souvenir spoon and that is solid silver it's 1.2 ounces of silver Well, me and Army Man came back out here to Relic Roundup. They've dug this up out here. They dissed it up about a foot deep and spread it back out. So we're finding some good targets out there. There's Army Man. I haven't been with him in a while. Say hello, Army Man. Uh, we do a lot of relic hunting together. Not too much water hunting. I've been doing all this water hunting. But we are finding some targets out here. He found a railroad button and a little key fob and a couple of other items. He's been out here hunting on his own a few days. But... We're going to keep on looking out here and see what we come up with. If we find anything, we'll turn the camera on and definitely show it to you. So let's go have some fun. Well, I just dug this one up. It's uh, got an A in the middle of it. And it's got, it's got something on it. I don't know. It's just, it's just a button. All right, we'll keep on going. All right, it says Colombian warranted with a shield with an A on top of the shield. I don't know. I have to dig that one up in the on the Google Google this one. All right, let's keep going. Got some type of little aluminum token right here. I can't make anything out of it. It's uh, it's pretty toasted. Didn't even ring up very good either. It's got some writing on it right here on the end. Some type of little design. I have to wait to get home and clean it up and see if I can find out what that might be. But it's pretty toasted. Dug a hole and got a little bottle there. There, even got a got something in it. Y'all want a drink of that? I'll pay somebody to comment so they'll drink it. I'll send it to you. I'm not gonna pay your medical bills though. I don't know what it is. It doesn't have a smell, but anyway, little little bottle. at that that's gonna be a I think maybe silver plated a rodeo spoon how you like that a rodeo spoon and I'm in a rodeo arena check that out I'm in a rodeo arena all right that's a good find I like those relics all right let me show you what else I got 
So far, I've gotten a button, a buckle, another buckle, another button, some type of little thing there, and thingamajig there, not sure. You got lots of marbles. I've got two Wheaties. One's a 20s, and I don't know what this other one is. And nothing over there. Hey, but that's the find of the day so far. I like that. Check that out. That's pretty neat. I have to clean it up later, see if there's a, a date on it. It says rodeo up right there on the neck.